this is the postmodern world where people who spout the same things as television, all the mass media, all the stuff they've been taught in school about political correctness, and then they think that they are the counterculture. It's laughable. People like the Pussy Riot in Russia, and the people who defend them. They do the most outrageous things that really aren't that outrageous anymore by society's standards, you know? Like, having sex in the museum or whatever, having an orgy in the museum, it's... What's the point of that? I don't understand it. It seems pretty stupid, and it seems to be pointless, and it's just saying, I guess they're pointing out that morality is bad. To have a system of morality in a society is a bad thing, because people should be able to do whatever the fuck they want, no matter what. And that's the flaw of that thinking, is I guess they think that everyone, if everyone was just allowed to do what they want, that everyone would be equally... I guess respectful of people, but they prove that they wouldn't be respectful by their by their own disrespectful acts. So there goes that such there goes that flaw. You know, you just you respect nothing, you people who like you're always saying, "Oh, religion is bad. Fuck religion. It controls and manipulates people." Yada yada yada. Well, maybe some people, and to a point, it does. But is that such a bad thing anyway? People shouldn't be allowed to just run around and do what they want. Look at how easily people are manipulated into being just like mass consumers of stupidity, running around through the aisles of Christmas grabbing things like a fucking... like animal, less, less than animals, released to feast on nothingness. These are the people that should just be allowed to decide what they want to do at any time. <laughs> You know when I do get mad, because you have, like, that Bernays guy, the nephew of Freud, who created all the, uh, manipulation of the society by the corporations, which I, I detest that. I detest merchant class rule, which is what we're under, through the banks and, uh, the corporations. But I don't detest rule as a whole. And monarchy is the organic way to be for people, and the monarch, in a true monarchy, not the monarchy you would see now with the corporate Masonic royals who've sold themselves out to the corporations and the bankers, but a true monarchy based on transcendence, where the monarch is the representation of the life force to his people on earth. He is the pinnacle of the people, and he rules the people by his equity and fairness and by his, yes, divinity, and you may laugh at that now with all your postmodern thinking and all that, but yes, he represents the divinity, the divine force of order in the universe, not of chaos. And the merchant class can never represent that solar power, that solar order. They are the lunar and they have turned the world upon its head in a bad way. And so I just was thinking that all you people who go around with your liberal attitudes, with the new meaning of liberalism, you know, liberalism used to be a good word, which meant, you know, you weren't selfish. You were liberal with your things. You were chivalrous. But now liberal means, in what it seems to mean anyway, is just some kind of, I don't even know what the hell it means, but it seems pretty backwards to me. With all this equality nonsense that you guys promote with, just biased equality, where everyone is like, you imagine everyone to be equal, but even when the most so-called liberal forms of government are put in place, like socialism and communism, there is always still an elite, and there is still the grunts. And why is that? Because equality is a lie. 
and when you work a system trying to make everyone equal, it will always fail, and it will always become a tyranny, the worst kind of tyranny, more than a tyranny than monarchy, because it becomes the tyranny of the mob. For these people who are in power are not a true metaphysical elite who have earned their positions through honor and valor and fighting and giving, almost dying like kings of old would do, like those who would gain the powers of the heads of the tribe, which are the families who became the aristocracy. And then you have the priesthood, the people who are educated, who disseminate the traditions and the law and the rules of the land, and they're the aristocracy, you know, they enforce those, which is a good thing, for they enforce a true order, an organic order, a holy order. Not the order we have now, which is unorganic, false, and satanic. It really is the satanic era. And I don't mean that in some sort of, like, Bible-thumper way. But even if you read and applied the philosophy of Anton LaVey's Satanism, it would be this society. It wouldn't be like a society of intellectual social Darwinists all over. It would be a society of hedonistic idiots, which it has become. So enjoy your postmodernity, you liberal bastards.